All right. Uh, should be recording my screen right now. Um, just to make sure everybody's caught up, uh, I want to make sure that everybody understands what they need to have done before they start working on their final uh, outline. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. So we did four different versions of landscapes. We did the natural landscape, the cityscape, the dreamscape, and the jungle book. And then you were to pick one of those that you liked and do two more versions of that, changing some things. So I chose the cityscape here. Okay. In my next version, I took out the street light right here and I added a basketball player and a basketball hoop. And then in my third version, I got rid of the motorcycle. And then I made the basketball player bigger. And uh, and that's uh, and and this would be what my final draft would look like. Okay. If I wanted to change it up and do something completely different, like maybe I I don't you know what I don't like cityscapes. I want to do the Jungle Book. I'm going to go back and do two more versions of the Jungle Book so that I have three rough drafts total, and I know what I want my final to look like. Um, if I want to change the cityscape again and I don't like this, I'll draw another version, okay? But I'll have a rough draft that looks like what I want my final to look like. All right? Does that make sense? And now once you're ready to start your final, um, you'll just start with the foreground. Take, draw your foreground and take a picture of your foreground. If you've already drawn all three layers, don't worry, we'll get back to that in a second. You should have added, uh, taken a picture and loaded your foreground up to your portfolio. Title it, title it version one. And then I will make comments down here at the bottom, like this, that I've done in my demo. Okay? I wrote, great job with the portion of your pig. Is that a palm tree on your farm? Maybe fix the shape of the pig's head. So then in my reflection notes over here, I'll write, I need to fix the pig's head. I like the proportions of everything. Might make an oak tree instead of a palm tree. Um, so then I'm done with my version one. Now, next version, I'll add in my middle ground and fix the things that I talked about in my foreground. So I fixed the pig's head and I changed it to an oak tree. Okay. And then my uh, observations of this, my notes on this will be on the bottom of this slide, okay? Pig's head looks better. Also, nice job on the tree. The middle ground uh, hill doesn't look quite right. It changes the height that, uh, from the left side of the tree to the right side. Right here, it doesn't look like it quite lines up. Also, where does it connect behind the pig? It comes down, but you don't see where that hill meets behind the pig. Maybe it's behind his foot, but it would make more sense if you could kind of see where the hill comes down um, and maybe fix uh, the shape of the middle ground pigs. These pigs back here don't look quite right. So in my notes on the side, I'll write, uh, I fixed the pig's head. Oops, I don't want to move that. I just want to highlight it. I fixed the pig's head and the tree to make it less tropical. I need to fix the shape of the middle ground hill and fix the middle ground pigs. But I did a good job with proportion, making the pigs smaller farther away. Okay? And then once you uh, finish this and fix those things, you'll take another, uh, you'll add in your, your background and take another uh, process picture. Okay? For version three. Does that make sense to everybody? Now. Yeah. Now, I wanted to show you, uh, if you didn't get a chance to see it before, I wanted to show you what your final colored version will look like. We're going to be using a website called pixelr.com to, uh, to colorize our, our final piece. Um, we'll be putting a light source in the sky like this with these tinted layers, these tinted rings, okay? So make sure you leave a, a lot of space in the sky, like maybe a third of the page, so we have a big light source in the sky. Now this can be a nighttime scene if you want. This can be like a dark navy blue. And then we'll be breaking it down into uh, layers like this. 
okay? So we'll start with uh, the three different layers and adding them on like this. And then I'll show you guys how to make the rings to give you guys an idea of, of what you're drawing, the, the layout of your drawing should look like so that there's enough space in the sky for your, for your light source later on, okay? If you want to play around with the website and practice some stuff, uh, pixelr.com slash e, um, and then uh, you can just uh, see what all these functions do over here on the left. Okay? So um, the rest of the class, I'm going to be going through your, your portfolios, looking at your foreground and making comments uh, for you to reflect on, okay? If you have any questions um, that you come up with later, don't feel free to uh, feel free to message me on Hangouts, and I can uh, help you with anything. Any questions? When will we start on the final draft? Yeah. Uh, so. We're working on our different layers right now, uh, step by step, and reflecting on it, taking process pictures. So once we're finished uh, reflecting on all three layers and making making corrections and adjustments, then we'll learn how to use pixel R and uh, to colorize it. Okay. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Hangouts. I'm going to stop the recording now and sign off.